Nativity Play. Hello, Mrs. Binton. Oh, I'm so glad you could get along to see a rehearsal of our Nativity Play. Can you squeeze in there? I'm afraid our chairs are a wee bitty wee, as they say, north of the border. Now then, children, we're going to start our rehearsal. Where are my Mary and Joseph? That's right, Shirley, and take Dennis by the hand and come and sit nice and quietly on this bench, right here, in the middle. As I, no, don't drag him. He'll come if you leave him alone. And don't hit each other. Mary and Joseph were friends. That's better. Now, who are my wise men? You're a wise man, aren't you, Geoffrey? Aren't you? Or what are you, then? Oh, you're a cattle, are you? And you're going to low. Well, that's splendid. Now, go over to Miss Bolting. Go along, go on. Miss Bolting, you're organising the animals and the angels, aren't you? Yes, he's one of yours. Now, wise men, here, please. Billy, Peter, and George, and George. Wise men never do that. Now, my kings, please. Of course, Mrs. Binton, we know that by tradition the wise men and the kings are one and the same, but we did want everyone in our nursery school to have a chance, so we've taken a few liberties, and I don't think anyone's going to mind. Now, my king, Sidney, Neville, Cliff, oh yes, and Nicholas Ananiades. We have four kings in our nativity play, I'm afraid. We happen to have four lovely crowns, and it seems such a pity not to use them. Sidney, put your crown on straight, please. No, not over one eye. What have you got under your jersey? You know that's not the place for a hamster, is it? Now, put him straight back in his little pen, please. Sidney, which one have you got? Twiggy or Harold Wilson? Well, then, who's got Twiggy? Neville, put him back at once. Poor Twiggy and Harold Wilson. It isn't very Christmassy for them under your jersey. Sidney, I think it serves you right if Harold Wilson bit you. And don't bite him back. Well, because he's smaller than you are. Are you bleeding? Well, don't make such a fuss, then. And Cliff, put your crown on, please. It's too big, is it? Well, let's see. Oh, it is, isn't it? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Nice to see you again. I tell you what, change with Nicholas. Nicholas, I think you can manage a big crown, can't you? You've got just the ears for it. And look, if you pull your ears down a little bit, that'll hold it up, won't it? And lean back. That's it, that's it. Now stay like that, dear. Don't move. Now, wise men and kings, I don't want you to muddle yourselves with each other. Now, you stay there. Now then, shepherds. Come on, shepherds. Jimmy, you're my first shepherd. No, you're not a racing car. And Caroline, you're a shepherd. Uh, I'm afraid you can't wear your little Bo Peep costume because, you see, there aren't any little girl shepherdesses in our play. No, they're all boy shepherds, and you're a girl being a boy shepherd. Yes, it is, Ron, but we have to settle for it. But I tell you what, Caroline, if you're good, perhaps you can wear a lovely grey beard. Would that be fun? Yes. George, don't do that. Now, Jimmy, you remember what you see up in the sky? It's something lovely, isn't it? No, not a baby. Try again. It's a lovely star, isn't it? And you're going to put up your hand and you're going to point to it. And what are you going to say when you do that? No, Sidney, he's not going to say, please, may I go to the bathroom? Children, that isn't funny. It's a perfectly natural function and you might just as well get used to it. Now, come on, Jimmy. You're going to say, behold, aren't you? Yes, you are, dear. Well, you said it yesterday. Well, if you'd rather say it tomorrow, I think... Well, perhaps you're right. Well, we have broken the back of the play, so... All right, children, you might as well get ready to go home and hand in your crowns very gently, please. No, you can't wear your crown home on the bus, Sidney. Well, Mrs. Vinton, I, I hope it's going to be all right on the night, but I think perhaps next year we might just make do with a Christmas carol.